Anything but a rank one, we're dead. Oh no. Not like this! <gasps> Look who's standing above on top! Alright, so today we're doing Green Escanor versus the one Ultimate Escanor, the first ever Escanor to release in Grand Cross versus the newest Escanor to release in Grand Cross. The one that stood above all. Great Escanor, man. Green motherfucking Escanor. Alright, buddy. Are you ready to take your, your doom? Your demise? He's got Tarmio Link. Of course. Of course he does. Of course he does. Of course he does, man. Oh my gosh. We got... We got the cards. We got the cards, man. Holy. Hey, man. These are the cards. This is the cards we won. This is the cards we won. I have never seen better cards in my life. What is this? Going for the rank 3? Oh my gosh. Can Green Eskinor beat out the new shiny toy in Grand Cross. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh my gosh, we have we have some crazy <laughs> We got a crazy ass hand here man. Alright we're gonna go for infect. We're gonna pop that little ultimate and we're gonna we're gonna pop that nice little Eskinor card. Now this will potentially revive the uh, the big boy over there which is the uh, the new shiny toy which I'm okay with because we have to do it regardless at one point or another. We have to pop the revive on that Eskinor. The only issue here is, right, he does have the revive. And uh, he has two attack cards, which are very devastating. At, at 1 HP, man, Eskinor's AoE, too strong. Too strong, and uh, it has potential to one-shot. Okay, luckily it was a rank 1. Anything but a rank 1, we're dead. Oh, no. Not like this! <gasps> Look who's standing above on top! <laughs> it is me, the greatest Eskinor of all, man. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Okay, well there we go. That's a victory. I'll take that victory. For sure. I'll take that as a W, man. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Alright, let's move on to the next match, man. Hopefully we can find more Eskinors. Alright! We got Eskinor here, but he has a Deanne, and uh, I'm actually very afraid of Deanne, and he's got the Merlin. Oh, no. What's up, man? Oh, sh- Oh! He knew the power of the green Eskinor. No way, dude. Let's go. Hey, He knew the power. He's like, yeah, I could, I, I'm not winning this shit, man. Let's freaking go, dude. The power the green Eskinor provides right there, right in front of you, man. You see? They tremble before the fourth best unit in the whole entire game. Oh, man. That's great. That's fantastic. Same person. <laughs> uh, thank you, my guy. Thank you. Don't laugh at me! Why are you laughing at me? Huh? Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, this is this is the greatest day ever on, on PvP. This might be the greatest day ever on PvP. Man was laughing like what the hell, bro? Huh? Dude, dude, <laughs> it's the third time, it's the third time. <laughs> I don't think he's forfeiting this time, bro. I don't think he's forfeiting this time, man. <laughs> he's about to beat my ass, what's gonna happen? He's about to literally beat my ass. All right. Alright, we go for the attack stable. And uh, we got absolutely cocked by the cards. I mean, this is probably one of the worst card draws I've ever seen in my life. Uh, by far. By far. And, uh, okay, we got the fire on Remuru. We got the stun on Escanor. Which at full HP shouldn't really matter. 
He's gonna do that, which, uh, I guess my only- Can I even push Escarol Ultimate? One, two, three- No, I can't. I can't even push Escarol Ultimate. Um... That's great. We can do this. Do a card here. We really can't do much. We, we got absolutely cocked by the cards. We got absolutely cocked by the cards. And, um... Uh, this is, this is, this is the worst card draw. Like, what happened to the previous card draws where we got, like, the rank-ups? But, like, this time around we got, like... I mean, look at my hand, right? This hand does about, like, 50k damage combined. Like, all attacks. Um, so, it, it, is, it is unfortunate that we, we did get the, the shit hand. And, um... <laughs> Rank 3 is getting the good luck. Hold... No! How dare you, man? That was my only way. That was my only way to win the game. Bro. My only way to win the game, he just he just killed me. He killed my only Quay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you believe this guy? Can, can you believe this guy, man? <laughs> oh, we living! Yo, your DN's ass! DN sucks. DN sucks. No! Alright, we still have a chance. It's a very minor chance. It's like it's like a negative chance to win here. You know what? It, actually, it's not even a chance. I don't think there's a chance to win. But but we, we're gonna try our best this to. Uh, I'm just wasting this guy's time at this point. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just give him the win. I feel like I feel like it's only fair to uh to give, give him the win and hopefully we don't get matched up again because. Ooh, king, buddy, king, buddy. All right, let's see if we can do it against this team, man. We have a good chance to win. I mean, realistically speaking, here, look at this, right? He's got, he's got his main two damage dealers are both attackers, and uh, we, we attack disable them. He does have Gother, who is a big problem. However, though, we have the chance here. To, uh, you know, push that Eska ultimate. I feel like killing... How do I kill here first? King is a problem for sure. This whole team's a problem, bro. This whole team's a problem. And he's getting the gold pit ultimate. Ugh. But, no, we can we can literally attack disable stall for, like, literally days. So, I think we're chilling. Um, it's, like, the issue is gonna be, like, him pushing uh, his ultimate. So, I guess we're gonna need to push our ultimate here. Going after King. I feel like King is easier to kill. Like, we can kill his side units and leave his Eskimo by himself. And that way, right? We leave Eskimo by himself, kill off his side units, and, and kind of just do our do our thing. Alright? I feel, I feel like that's good. Wait, bro! No, bro! Oh my god, this is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. We have another attack disable here. I have to kill that. I have to kill that Gother. I go to gotta go because the rank ups, the freaking attacks is getting off on me. Not good. That Gother gotta go. That Gother gotta go. We got we got attack disable again. Gother gotta go. Are you listening here, little 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 rascal? Huh? You hear me, little rascal? He he keeps draining me, man. He keeps draining me, man. This guy's gotta go. I wasted a card here, unfortunately, but it's just how it played out. But that man's gotta go. Alright, now is where uh, it gets to the tricky territory. The tricky, tricky territory. I think I might have to push ultimate here with um, with my Gother. Just so we can drain, right? We literally, I literally have to. I'm gonna save this. And... Um, I guess we can we can rock the Eskinor here once. Okay, we have a drain. We have a drain, we have a drain. Um, we gotta remember, right? Eskinor 
once he gets to freaking uh, to freaking flame state that uh, he can't be he cannot be uh, what call it like debuffed so if he gets to flame state man we're in trouble which we are gonna get to flame state wow all right well he's in flame state it's fine we just gotta pray we survive If he attacks twice, right, he loses. He loses two flames. Attacking my Gothor is perfectly fine because we have the Tormio Link. He loses two flames. Perfect. Okay, well, unfortunately, my Green Escrow dies, but he's got one flame left, so he dies on this next hit. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that we have managed. We have managed a victory royale against the one ultimate Escanor. Uh, it was more of like a, a combined effort from Red Gother being the absolute chat he is than anything else, but a victory is a victory, man. And we'll take it. So, alright. Alright, I think I'm going to call it there, man. I think I had some pretty good matches. Yeah, Green Escanor, not really a... The, the, you know, it's just a fun video. Fun video. Hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.